Two of the world's most relevant young voices for climate change are said to speak at the 10th annual Desmond Tutu lecture today. Uh, Christiana Figueres is the former executive secretary of the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. Uh, she's won multiple awards and is actually being credited for bringing together national governments, corporations and activists to deliver the historic 2016 Paris Agreement on Climate Change. At the same time, climate activist Vanessa Nakete is a 23-year-old who led weekly demonstrations to highlight climate change in Uganda, that's where she's from, and actually teamed up with Greta Thunberg at the World Economic Forum in Davos this year. The theme of this year's uh, Desmond Tutu Peace Lecture is climate justice globally and uh, now and, and for the future, that is, to help us speak more to this event and the context in which it takes place. Let's bring in uh, Puyushi uh, Koteja, who's CEO of the Desmond and Leah Tutu Legacy Foundations. Uh, Puyushi, thanks very much for your time. Welcome to the AM Report. Let's speak first about this lecture in and of itself and, of course, uh, the man, if you like, who is uh, in the backdrop of such lectures. Uh, I guess, help us understand the significance of this 10th annual lecture as a, big, as a start. Good morning, Andile. Thank you very much. Yes, it is, it is a wonderful day today, uh, marking the Archie's 89th birthday today. Um, and, and due to the pandemic, um, he'll be celebrating quietly with close family. Um, we'll be celebrating a Eucharist service this morning. And of course, in the evening, um, he'll be watching, uh, glued hopefully to his television screen, for the 10th um, annual Desmond Tutu Lecture tonight. Absolutely. And Please go yes. ahead. Go ahead. And of course. Yes, and of course, you know, the, the, you ask the significance of the annual lecture um, is that it's been a key piece uh, of, of the foundation's uh, architecture uh, since it was inaugurated, you may recall, in rather controversial circumstances in the year 2011 um, <clears throat> by His Holiness the Dalai Lama. So the, the lecture, the annual lecture provides a lens uh, in the global south through which one can process issues affecting humanity um, and our earth. Um, it's a lens that we built uh, on the Archbishop's legacy of, of, of courage, uh, of justice, and, and the love through which we can see, see tomorrow. You know, of course, as an individual, <clears throat> he's played such a significant role in our country and globally, uh, in the church, in the anti-apartheid movement, um, at the Truth and Reconciliation Commission, of course, as an author, a global speaker, a commentator, an activist. Uh, we all know that the Arch has been an uncompromised individual um, in our nation and, a, and an uncontainable force for, for, for justice. Um, he's held all kinds of organizations and individuals to account. Uh, he represents a set of timeless human values uh, that people across the world recognize um, as, as particularly rare and particularly precious. Um, and as a legacy foundation, you know, it is our responsibility um, to, to protect and to safeguard this, his teaching, his wisdom, so that present generations and future generations can, can also benefit from it. So, so we've, we've, we've tended to have um, <clears throat> many intergenerational conversation, uh, can conversations, and today, of course, is, 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 is the highlight of the year. Uh, with speakers that you outlined at, at the beginning um, when you spoke. And of course, uh, the lecture is significant for, I would say, you know, several reasons. You know, first of all, as I mentioned, it's the 10th in the series, so a big milestone for us. Um, the topic, climate justice, um, it addresses a very oppressing global emergency um, requiring, you know, unprecedented um, global action on our part. And of course, the arch has been a leading voice against uh, climate injustice for, for many years uh, now. Uh, the and, and 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 you know the presenters this evening are, are, are pleased to share are, are proud representatives of the global south who achieved a worldwide recognition uh, in a field that you know, has been dominated in the global media narrative by people from north. So, so uh, that is a particular question this evening. And the speakers are a cohort, if I may put it this way, of, of active, uh, compassionate, and brilliant women. Uh, so, we're giving a platform this evening to, to the young <coughs> and to also Chris Jennifer Garris, who's, who's well known in, uh, with regard to her contributions in this field. Sure. 
So, right. you know, given, given COVID-19 regulations, this year's lecture is the first one to take place online. Um, and in the past, we, there's always been a single speaker. But the format we've, we've, we've changed this year to enable us to assemble this, this stellar class. Uh, Pisha, um, I'm going to I'm gonna have to come in there. So sorry to interrupt you. Mm -hmm. It seems like our line, sadly, is uh, a bit faultier. We're not actually able to make up some of the details of what you're saying. But I imagine, you know, the thrust of the message you're trying to send today has certainly been captured. The 10th annual Desmond Dutu lecture taking place this evening. A big focus on climate change. The theme is climate justice globally. And, of course, uh, because because of the COVID-19 pandemic, this will be held virtually, no doubt, uh, some of those details on the Desmond and Leah Dudu Legacy Foundation website. That there is uh, uh, Piyushi Koteja. She is the CEO of that foundation.